Hey everyone, this is Kevin at Riverbend Nature Center in our parking lot hanging out with another cute little wildflower that's active at this time of the year. These adorable little pink flowers are called pink ladies, although some people call them evening primrose or pink primrose, and some people call them buttercups, although these are not buttercups, they have nothing to do with actual buttercups, and have about as much to do with an actual buttercup as a koala bear has to do with actual bears. Uh, you can see they're a cute little four-petaled flower with some heavy veination in the petals there. And they can range in color from kind of a regular pink to like white. Some of the ones I see on the roadsides when I'm driving are almost straight white. And I see them in these patches here. And some people refer to these groups or patches as colonies. Some of the colonies can be really, really big. Some of them can be fairly small like this. Just depends on how healthy the plant is. It's a perennial and it comes back every year and will start blooming in the spring all the way throughout the summer and into the fall, provided that the weather is nice. They're kind of a fair weather flower. So if it's not too hot or if it's not too cold, they should be blooming, meaning that you'll see most of these in the fall and in the spring. Um, the flowers only last for about a day. Once uh, they're done blooming, they'll close up and they'll just get a new bloom to replace them uh, the following morning. And uh, as far as when they bloom, uh, around here in the southern parts of the range, like in Texas, they tend to bloom in the morning, which can be kind of confusing considering some people call them evening primrose, where in the northern parts of the range, they will open up in the evening. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning about these fun little wildflowers, and I'll have to catch you next time.